happy New Year's Eve, everybody. I am gonna first pour myself another drink of gin. In my Instagram polls, I'm just gonna, um, in my Instagram polls, I asked you guys what I should get for my dinner. Wagon Mama's doesn't deliver here. McDonald's doesn't deliver here. Sushi, every place that, that delivers here that does sushi is closed. Probably because it is New Year's Eve. What was my other option? Pizza, I'm not in the mood. So I got Greek. <laughs> I did, I ignored everybody's um, suggestions and I got Greek food. So this is by the looks of it a feta salad, which I don't remember ordering, but fine. I'm also making the most of the fact that I'm not gonna be able to eat cheese or good cheese tomorrow because I'm doing Veganuary. So I'm eating all the cheese. What the heck is that? I bet it tastes great, I'm gonna try it. It looks like vomit. How the heck do I even? Holy moly, that's like the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. What is this, halloumi? Is this halloumi? It looks like halloumi. Tastes like halloumi. It's halloumi. So, I asked you guys over on my stories to ask me some juicy quizzes or assumptions. So, I'm just gonna sort myself out. There better be pitta in this. Because if there's no pitta, what the heck am I meant to have with my malfunction one? Camera's packed in. Already, I don't know what you just witnessed. Probably me just complaining about how there's no pitta here. So I just have a pot of tzatziki. What am I meant to do with that? I can feel it all over my face. Right, I need to actually answer some questions. How's your job? Are you still liking it? I absolutely love my job. Um, I can't believe it was kind of like given to me on a silver platter because it's amazing. I love my office. I love the people I work with. I love what I do. I have so much freedom. <laughs> just waving a chip around. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna dunk this in the tzatziki. Can't waste good tzatziki. I've, I've explained what I do before. Um, but now basically because they liked some of my content creation so much, they have me working for the magazine side of the business as well. So what I'll do is I'll go around Sheffield to venues and stuff and I create content for them. But it's for the magazine, but obviously it's promotion for them. I basically just get paid to drink and eat free food and just film. And it's the best thing ever. I can't believe I just kind of stumbled across this. Do you ever think you'll get your own place? If so, would you get a house or apartment? 100%. <laughs> I'm not gonna live with my um, parents forever. I would like to get an apartment to start off with. I don't think I'd go straight to having a house because that's so much commitment. Like, what if I suddenly decided I want to go traveling again? But I'd have to sell my house and that's such a faff. I'm in a very, very lucky scenario where I like my parents. I like living with my parents. They don't charge me rent. I might as well stay here for as long as it takes to save up because rent is just wasted money. I probably will end up renting at some point in the future, but for as long as I can stay here, I might as well, just to save some money. Speaking of which, your top three goals for 2022. Now, I don't really make goals. I don't make like New Year's resolutions. Can I have this up like... Oh. oh my God, my teeth. There is a stone olive. I don't do New Year's resolutions. Normally, cause they're always like, I'm gonna, Lose weight, go to the gym more. And like, sure, if that's you, go ahead. I fully support that, but I never stick to it and it makes me feel like rubbish. And I'd rather not feel like rubbish. So one thing I will say, like I said, I would like to save money. Okay, right. I wanna get into some juicy ones because I feel like they were rather tame. Um, Sometimes you wish you could just ditch sustainability and buy what you like. 100%. There are some really, really lovely things out there that I'm not gonna lie, I would love to have, but I can't justify it because my life now kind of revolves around sustainability. It's like 
my Instagram account, my YouTube channel, obviously. If I just suddenly ditched all of that, I would get a lot of criticisms on my platforms. And I would feel rubbish about myself. Like I do this because I care about the environment. If I bought something, I'm not gonna lie, I feel really guilty with these synthetic hair extensions in, but I thought, you know, I can't be too harsh on myself. I really want this. I can't find, you know, a sustainable option that's not gonna like break my bank. Um, I mean, the sustainable option is to not buy it. Um, but I'm still on a journey. And I'm telling myself that to make myself feel better, even though I feel like I've just got like dead animals on my hair. But sometimes I would love to just say, screw it. But there's that, oh, there's that conscience in my head that's like, no. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. No man is good enough because you're too freaking great. I mean, it's an assumption, but she assumed it. And it's true. <laughs> a lovely Prince Charming kind of came along and swept me off my feet, I wouldn't say no, but for all the men I've met thus far, I have been too freaking great. You like having close-knit friends in small numbers instead of lots of people. No, um, no, I love my friends. I love, I have a select few friends and they're not friends with each other. Um, they're very like spread out. In fact, next week will be the first time all my friends meet. I say all my friends, a lot of them are, can't make it because of either COVID or I don't know, family stuff. My birthday party, which is actually in two weeks time. All my friends are gonna be together in one room and I can't wait. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to have a big group of friends because whenever I do stuff, I only ever do stuff with one other person at a time. It's usually Eleanor. But that's just the way my life has kind of like panned out. I don't have a big group of friends. My friends don't overlap. And I know a lot of people are like, well, small friends are more reliable. I'd rather have like three best friends than like loads and loads of fake friends. But it's the dynamic, isn't it? And I wouldn't trade any of my, like if I had the option to trade any of my friends now for like a big group, I'd obviously say no. But I have nothing against like big groups of friends, as long as they're your real friends and they're not like talking about you behind your back or whatever. Do you want kids one day? <laughs> not necessarily. It's ironic because I've had lots of jobs with kids. Like my job in Australia was an au pair. I used to be a dance teacher. I liked being able to give them back at the end. I am only 22. I am very young. There are some people actually recently who have revealed, oh no, I dropped some feta. Oh, I've literally just cleaned my floor today as well. I mean, I guess that's a good thing because it means the feta isn't dirty. A few people from my old school who have revealed that they're pregnant now and I'm like, I'm sorry. Because it just seems like a lifetime away from me. Like, even if I was in a very, very happy, loving relationship, I wouldn't be nowhere near ready for kids yet. Like maybe when I'm 32 or something. My mum was 39 when she had me. There is plenty of time for me to have children. Um, maybe I'm just not in that state of mind yet, but I can't differentiate between I don't want children and I don't want children yet. Will you get any more tattoos and where? Now, um, in the vlog, I'm filming a vlog this week, which will be out the Sunday after you're seeing this. Um, I got some tattoos yesterday. Um, you will have seen them on my Instagram if you follow me over there by Lizzie Caps. Um, but I did film the process on my YouTube channel. I got one here, one here and then one on my ribs as well. This guy, I do have other tattoos on this arm. I've got these two and then my tiger back here. But if I look forward, this one looks really, really lonely now. I really love that kind of scrapbook. Is it called scrapbook or like sticker style tattoo where it's just kind of like little ones everywhere. I really love that kind of look. However, so my parents, hate them. I'm thinking maybe I hold fire with any more um, in like visible places while I'm still living at my parents. 
just because I mean I'm under their roof I know it's my body but like they still have to look at me every day I just want to be respectful I want my parents to love me okay love your brows what brow products do you use Ooh, a beauty quizzy um so I have a couple of brow products um what I've got on now is the HD brow glue um, I'm still undecided whether I like it. I mean, I use it every day, so it clearly works. I, it just feels very crusty, I suppose, and sometimes it comes off in like little flakes. The other brow product I use is the West Barn Co. Soap Brows. That is also really, really good if you want really kind of like stuck down brows, but then I also find that um, if you get kind of any on your forehead or on your eyelids, it's really difficult to put like concealer or foundation on top of because it just goes really really super patchy so i don't really have i mean thank you so much whoever asked this question but i don't really have anything that i would like openly recommend um are you excited for your birthday i am unbelievably excited for my birthday it is on the 13th of january um, I'm having a party. I was so, so nervous that the UK was gonna go into lockdown uh, after Christmas. If it was a two week lockdown, we would have come out of lockdown like the week before my party. If they'd have done it like in the new year, I wouldn't have been able to have my party unless, unless we came out of it on the day of. I'm gonna vlog it. Well, I'm gonna vlog kind of like the preparation but it is a James Bond themed party. So black tie. I'm wearing the most incredible red dress. It's called, I, I can't take the credit for this because my brother for his 30th had a poker party and he named it Capsino Royale, which I thought was just so clever. So I stole it. Um, so my party is called Capsino Royale and it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited for it. What is the highlight of 2021 being? Emotionally, physically, socially? Oh my God, meeting Eleanor. You would never have ever guessed that Eleanor and I have not been friends for years and years and years. But we only met in, I wanna say April. It was after her birthday in March. But we met in a park or we just sat down, had a couple of drinks and we just hit it off after that. I can just tell in my heart that she is gonna be my friend forever. Like she is the best human being I could have possibly wished to walk into my life. I love that girl with my whole heart. If you're watching Eleanor, which she will be. I love you so much. <laughs> Gosh, that was cringy. Right, what else? Physically, not catching COVID. <laughs> what made you get into YouTube? Um, That is a very, very good question. So when I came home from Australia, I, like, I so I tried to do, I fat, wow, words. I tried filming some YouTube videos while I was out in Australia and they were terrible, they were awful. Um, and I was gonna come home and post them. So it wasn't even like I came home from Australia and just decided to start YouTube. It had been, I'd been like pre, like preparing for it, like over the time in Australia. I've just realized, my camera could have turned off like ages ago and I would just not have known. Are we still going? If we are, this is a record. Wow, okay, I am on low battery though. So I might just make this my last um, question. I don't know what made me want to start YouTube. I mean, I've been watching YouTubers for, I don't know how long, like I've been watching like um, Sean XOXO, uh, Ellie Darby, um Karis both of whom I don't watch anymore because I can't relate to them now that they have a baby and I I am I am already devastated for the day I'm like I'm obviously going to be extremely happy for her but I am devastated for the day Megan Grubb gets pregnant because I know like that after that her life will be her baby and it would be in every single video and I'll be like God damn it, I can't relate to these people with babies and I'm so happy for them, but I just don't enjoy baby content. It's just not me. I mean, maybe in 10 years time, I will love baby content, who knows. Yeah, I've watched YouTubes for a really long time. Maybe they just inspired me. Maybe I was like, 
I can do that too. I don't know, who knows? Anyway, right, I'm gonna end this video here. I haven't like made a dent in this food. Um, ordered way too much, can't eat any of it tomorrow because, I mean, I will. I'm not gonna waste all this food, but I'm not going to be eating cheese after tomorrow. But anyway, moving on, I'm just rambling now. I'm just gonna finish this. Cheers. I hope, I mean, after this video is live, it will already have been New Year's Eve, but I really, really hope you have the best New Year's Eve you could have possibly ever had in the circumstances. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go up to my brothers and drink Prosecco and play some games. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for another video. I really need to fix my lipstick, I know it. <laughs>